If you've been waiting for Sosnovica to come back to the Mod Hub, the wait is over. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's DJ. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to New Mods for Farming Simulator 22. Today, we've only got nine mods for you for all platforms. We've got four new and five updates. I do make mod review videos every time they're released on the end game mod hub, usually Monday through Friday. So get subscribed to the channel if you're new. That way you never miss any. Starting off today with new mods for all platforms, we have the Grimmer GL430 from Dutch Modding Inc. This bad boy right here is a seeding machine used to seed potatoes. 4,000 liters, that's going to be seed and fertilizer, I'm pretty sure. You've also got 3.4 ton weight, 95 horsepower, 3 meter working width at 7 miles an hour, and it's 12 slots on consoles. As far as your design, so we have the shaping board, and we have standard, so you can use that if you want to. We also have a cage roller as well, very cool there, like that. Attacher type, so we have the Farmax combination or standard. Now... Farmax combination? That's right. We've also got this bad boy right here. This is a spader. Prepares your fields for the next sowing. Can be used instead of a plow. This specific version is 1.8 tons ten, or 100 horsepower required. Three meter working with at four miles per hour. We do have a three point hitch attachment or the Grimmer combination. So you do that as well. This is kind of neat because we're at the tip top. It's kind of dead. Look at that. It's a trailer hitch. That's kind of neat, but you can throw a three point on the back if you want to as well. This is six slots on consoles and is looking good. Three meters, four miles an hour. Not bad. Your next new one for all platforms today is the John Deere pickup pack. Now, I was kind of hoping this would be some pickup trucks, but they are weights. So we have two of them. We've got a 900 and the 1150, as we'll see, 1050. The 900, of course, weighs 900 kilograms, but we can bump that up to 1,000, 1,100, 12, 13. 13 again with a different design, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and back in again. That is a funny looking weight right there. <laughs> Main color on here, you change this up. That's going to be the weight color itself. Design color, this is good, what's going to be grabbing a hold to the front. And then your extension color, well, is of course an extension color on the very front. This is two slots on consoles. Then we have the 1150. Of course, this weighs 1150 kilograms, but we bump that up to 1250, 1350, 1450, 1550, 1650, 1750, 1850, 1950, 2050. Yeah. Uh, and then your color options here are going to be exactly the same here as well. Boom, two slots as well. Making our way over to some new placeable mods for all platforms, we have the Hydraulic Bollards. Now, they come in different versions right here. You can see we've got one version that's already in the ground, but goes up and this one was already up, but went into the ground. This is interesting. So let me show you this. Go to decorations, go into others. You can find them right here near the end. You got 135 and then 1A, 3A and 5A. This is because you've got either a one, a three or a five that are automatic. They will automatically open at 9 p.m. and they will automatically close at 8 a.m. So if I fast forward it, these would actually be available as closed. However, you can raise and lower them automatically if you would like. These are available in one, three, and five bits and uh, you're good to go either way. If you guys wanna go with the automatic, that's pretty cool, but they do have a manual version as well and the automatic can be used as manual. So. Eh, use your imagination. Have some fun with these. And your last new mod for all platforms today is the Corner Shed for Farmer 5 Tom. If it's from him, you know it's going to be good. Very, very quick opening of the doors right there here. Boom, boom, boom. You can hide them both right smack dab in the middle. We've got a smaller door right here, more for probably walking through and that type of thing. But hey, whatever you can fit through there, go have some fun with it. We've got the one main area there. Then... We've got a smaller kind of open area separated from itself here where you can work on your vehicles, things like that. This is pretty darn cute. And also, uh, whatever door you want to open, go to the middle of where that door should be, and that's how it's going to open up. Boom, just like so. You see right through here, we've got a nice drive through. It's a cool little place, man. And we've got an area up top as well. Now, how do we get up there? Well, We'll just simply go up there, I guess is the easiest way. Yeah, you got a door there too. A uh, little bit difficult as this kind of thing has never been the easiest. There we go, finally got in there. Uh, so you've got this area right here. Um, I don't think we can open those. No, you can't open those, but we do have an area right there that's opened up and uh, that doesn't open either. 
huh. That stinks. Yeah, nonetheless, you've got a lot of stuff going on. Have some fun. This is definitely a roleplay-esque type of building. Oh yeah, there's another one that has uh, solar panels literally everywhere on it. This is daily up or income of $250 per day, offsetting the $150 maintenance cost for every day. So really, at the end of the day, you're only getting 100 bucks. It's not bad. Making our way over to mod updates for all platforms today. The map Soznovka from Puma 145 is back on the mod hub and we've got an update to it. So if you guys were using the previous version of this map, make sure that you update to version 1.0.1. They've removed everything that caused the problems. They've also added decoration around the map. They've added more visual changes from Farm Sim 17 and fix the visual bugs. And we've got an update to the construction map to version 1.2. They've added precision farming compatibility. They also say a new save game is only required if you plan to play with precision farming DLC. How's about an update to a tractor? The Massey Ferguson 76 77 87 series version 1.4. The interior decals were arranged on the 8700. The hood and grills have been reworked on the 8700. They fixed the moving parts bug from the interior on the 76 and the 77. And some models have been improved with the 76, 77, and 87, respectively. And we've got a big update to the Star Pro 5 version 1.1. We got a new shop image and mod icon. They've reduced the slots, textures, and memory consumption and improved the performance. We got more fitting four cylinder sounds have been added, narrow twin tire configurations added. They've also added a power shift transmission option, front grill and exhaust grill made transparent. Motors have been customized, or monitors have been customized. The foil display on the armrest now has black background. Light buttons adjusted on top right. Mod been prepared for precision farming, and monitor is made configurable. And your last mod update for all platforms today is the Massey Ferguson 9407S. This is going to be version 1.1. Wheel configurations have been adjusted. New details have been added. Base price has been reduced, steering wheel configuration has been removed, and they've reduced the slot usage for console players. Well guys, that is it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it, get subscribed if you're new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way, you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. Speaking of daily videos, I've already released the farm sim news for today, talking about pumps and hoses, fact sheets, and the farm sim academy. Also talked about the TLX 9000 in there as well. And if there's anything else you want to see, check out the Farm Sim Show podcast later today. Myself and Clutch Simulations, 3 p.m. Eastern time. It's already happened. Link it below. Otherwise, hope you have a good one. See you later.